It's time for the Manhattan Pizza Post Game Show on the Game Day Broadcast Network. Manhattan Pizza, serving the best dang pizza in town. Today's game will be archived for on-demand replay online at gamedaymagazine.com. You can order your copy of this game as well as on the new Game Day Broadcast Store. With over 1,800 broadcasts available for purchase, you can save these memories forever. Now, let's rejoin the broadcast team on the Game Day Broadcast Network. Andy Hayes, George Costa back with you here for the Manhattan Pizza Postgame Report. West Springfield winners today, 7-1 to over Langley. They advance to the Northern Region Championship game here on Friday night to play Lake Braddock, a rematch of the Patriot District Championship game. And so many great battles between those two programs, George. West Springfield tonight, six hits, seven runs, no errors. And Frank Sturrock was fantastic. And, well, I'll let you talk about his performance here tonight. Give me some thoughts on this team because right now they are cruising along here as we look at some of our highlights from this game. Well, they look, uh, Frank Sturrock looked very good. The fielding was flawless, and they got hits from a lot of people, one through nine. Um, but here's the thing about Sturrock that I admire in this game. I have a feeling he did not have his best stuff tonight. He labored a little bit. He had to throw uh, 112 pitches in seven innings to win this game. But toward the end of the game, uh, he had walked four batters and hit a, and hit one in the first four innings. Last three innings, he got done with those innings in 36 pitches, no walks. So when he had to when he had to pitch efficiently, uh, he was able to do it. Whatever adjustments he made, he made and finished the game really stronger than he started the game. You know, the one thing about West Springfield that reminds me of what we saw in the first game is everybody in this lineup here, George is hitting the baseball right now. I mean, they went one through nine, smacking the ball around the yard, and they, they were not little blue pits. I mean, they were hit hard with guys in scoring position. That's all you can hope as a coach is when you've got guys out on base paths here, you, you get them in, and that's what West Springfield's doing a great job of right now. Well, often in high school, if you pitch tough to the first half of the lineup, you can sort of cruise the last three hitters. But this is not the case with either West Springfield or Lake Braddock. They've got hitters one through nine. I mean, dangerous hitters, it, people who can hit the ball hard somewhere. So that's a whole different uh, challenge, and that puts a lot of pressure on a pitcher. Langley today did not have the same stuff that they had on Monday. What was the difference in this game, George? Well, Langley got a tremendous pitching performance out of Matt Mosier, who to me looked as tough as any pitcher I've seen this season. Uh, they got it, 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 Jonathan O'Connor had a rough couple of innings, let up six runs. He was a little bit wild in the strike zone, walked some people, and uh, West Springfield took advantage of it. Now, after that, Jonathan O'Connor settled down and pitched two innings, only let up one more run, and then Jack McSteen came in, pitched two shutout innings, so uh, the pitchers adjusted, but when the damage had been done by West Springfield early, uh, Sturrock was capable and willing and able to, uh, to really put keep this game out of reach. Uh, West Springfield just pulled away, and Sturrock would not give up much at all here tonight. That was just one of the few hits that Langley was able to put together out there in the field of play. And Sturrock, our game day player of the game, brought to you by Max Muscle, and he was awesome today. Spartans move on. They'll play Lake Braddock in the finale. You saw both teams today. Who do you like in that one, George? To me, it looked like Lake Braddock was a little stronger offensively. Uh, so I would say advantage like credit. We'll find out how it will all play out Friday night, the Northern Region Championship. It will be West Springfield and Lake Braddock right here on the game day broadcast network. Weather permitting, we hope you'll tune in. Congratulations to Coach Holmes and the West Springfield Spartans victorious here tonight, seven to one. We'd like to thank our entire broadcast team Featuring our producer, Helene Shane, Michael Saltis on camera, Matt Kenyon, and Andy Lumen also helping out. For George Calsa, I'm Andy Hayes. We'll see you next time here on the Game Day Broadcast Network.